What are you expecting from Howard today? Rudeness, um, impersonal questions, I don't know, the usual. The boy George is here, always love seeing him. Let's bring him in. Boy George, of course, very famous dude. There he is, there's Boy George. Wow. How you doing, Boy George? Very outspoken. <laughs> you mean, uh, hey. He knows what he's doing. I told you I read that quote from you in uh, some book where you said, what's with all these religious right jerk-offs that what do they really want from gay America? Do they want us all to go back in the closet and pretend we're straight and then marry their daughters? Did I say that? Yes, you did. And I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> he doesn't remember it. <laughs> you don't remember even saying it. That's, that's so crazy. You say stuff all the time. Nobody remembers that they even said it. That sounds very polite for me, you see. <laughs> That's with those headphones, I can barely see you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the idea. Yeah, how you been? Very good, thank you. Yeah, I'm just glad you're here, you're alive, you know what I mean? You got a couple of rough years, and now look at you, you look all healthy, <laughs> bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. What are you up to? You haven't done any drink, do you drink? Uh, occasionally. Oh, you can drink? Yeah. I thought you were like one of those Alcoholics Anonymous guys. <clears throat> no, no, just, it was just drugs for me. Just drugs, so you can... Still drink, yeah. You can handle the alcohol? Um, yeah, I just do it carefully. Really? Yeah, I never had a problem with alcohol. I never really liked it that much. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you, it's uh, it's a funny thing. I thought once you get like once you're in that AA kind of, you it know. It depends. It depends. Oh, so at least you can get high. You can, can you smoke weed? No, I don't smoke weed. <laughs> you can't oh. smoke any weed. He probably took the cure in Europe, and they don't consider alcoholism a disease over there. No. Nice try, Howard. Though. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go get high. See what happens. Believe me, smoke a little yeah, weed, nothing no, will happen. But you wouldn't do a little pot, huh? No, no. He he's got to stay away from that stuff. Oh, let's go to Mike. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, Howard. What's up, man? Uh, nothing. Uh, listen, I got a two-part question for Boy George. Go ahead. One, did he uh, meet KC, and two, will he ever bring him out of the closet? Did you meet KC, our... Uh, KC in the Sunshine Band. No, no, no KC, no, no, our no. producer. Our producer. Oh, no, I never did. You know, bring KC in here just for a second. Tell me if this guy's gay. You have gay Is he the one that's in the pants in the picture in the waiting room? Yeah, the yeah. The blue, uh... Yes. Blue trunks yeah. with a nice body. Yeah. Yes. Well, you think he's gay? Take a look. Take a look at him. I think he's gay. I think all men are potentially gay. He wets his bed. Oh! Stop it! Punches he his girlfriend and his sleep. He can't get it up for his yeah. girlfriend. Stop he has trouble it. getting aroused for his girlfriend. <laughs> take off Free. your shirt for boy George. Yeah. Let him take a look. Yeah. Yeah. Any, any man who spends that long on his hair has got to be a bit suspect. Come on, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> well, you know, any man who uses gel has got to be a little. <laughs> who does what? Use a gel. Use gel. You know. Oh. He gels his and hair. And also, you're getting really butch on me now, so you obviously have hit a no nerve or something. No, I'm yeah. just saying. Wow. I'm just asking a question, that's all. Uh, <laughs> 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 George, he spends hours in a tanning, tanning bed. Bits. That's gay. I think we're all made up of equal parts of Rambo and Lucille Ball, so don't worry about <laughs> it. <right now. laughs> but hey, boy George, that doesn't make you gay if you're out tanning, correct? No, no, no. I mean, I'd prefer if you weren't anyway. We don't oh, yeah, you don't, like the tan, you don't like the tan look? Yeah, you don't care about your tan. You no. don't care about your lines. Boy stop. George, meet girl KC. Hey, the skin play the skin Yeah, you're cool? right. You like to give oral sex yeah. to men. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, Isn't there it is. It's a joke. Me a favor. Do you have good gaydar? Seriously. Yeah, I'm pretty good. All right. I'm going to bring in three guys. We're going to play guess at the gay guy. Okay. I want to see. I want to play against you. you. If one of these gentlemen is gay, two are straight. What you do I get though? Nothing. What do you want? KC. You want you want to have sex with KC if you're yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Here comes three guys. All three of them claim to be gay. Only one of them really is gay. And let's meet uh, Sean Michael, who is wearing glasses. He's very tall. He's uh, certainly a muscular man. He takes good care. He has a lot of hair gel in. Is that Sean Michael or Sean Michelle? Is it Sean Michelle <laughs> or Sean Michael? Uh, Sean Michael. And how old are you, Sean? I'm 26 years old. All right. And uh, and boy, George, you feel free to ask questions if you need to. But uh, let me ask you something. Do you do you do you uh, consider yourself uh, uh, a gay man or a bisexual man? I, bisexual, I would say. Really? Yeah. And and you've had sex with a lot of men. I wouldn't say a lot. You certainly sound a little uh, oh. lispy. Has he had sex with more I sound lispy? Than yeah, you sound effeminate, I have to admit. F feminine. Good looking guy, right, boy George? Yeah. You would have sex with him, right? You're so rude. Well, Nelson, <laughs> 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 you do a lot of rude stuff, too. I'd give him a massage, yeah. You would give him a massage, yeah. all right. Oh. I'm good as well. So, uh, and, and what have you. What does Jean Michael do? Yeah, what do you do for a living? 
I'm an make... actor, and uh, I wait tables at Shelley's New York. I see. Oh. Yeah, he is a waiter. <laughs> that would be actor. gay. That is a gay profession, <laughs> and an actor is a gay profession. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And, and you uh, enjoy uh, how many different partners a week? Uh, anywhere from two to three. Two to three different partners? Yeah, different ones. So you are not attached to uh, any man, per se. You don't have, you like, don't a, have a, a life mate. Oh, absolutely not, no. Not with two to three different partners. Mm -hmm. who, who would do that? Do you pitch How or catch? You? How old are you? I'm 26. Oh, and do you pitch or catch? What, what are you playing, baseball? Yeah. Oh, oh uh, yeah, I pitch and catch. Yeah, and you like to give oral sex to men? Oh. I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know about that. You don't like that? You like receiving it? Uh, they all I, do. I, I would say if I, I would say if I had to, to choose one, yeah, I would say giving, giving it, uh, yeah, Gi giving it. All he right. means giving oral. No, no, he means oh, the other. Oh, oh, I see. I, I, the skin <laughs> play the skin. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You like to give oral sex yeah, to men. Yeah, that that would be the one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, is there this it is. a joke? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is this is real. <laughs> George. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Why do you say it's a joke? It's a serious business. Because I, I don't trust you. I know, I know no, you. this is Guess Who's the Gay Guy. Oh, okay, go. All right, let's go you to... Uh, have game shows in England? <laughs> yeah, come on. This is a game show. I'm trying okay, to do well. fun stuff with All you. Right. Okay, no, I'm enjoying it. It's fantastic. All right, let's go to the second guy. You claim to be gay. That's correct. And your name is Timmy? Just Tim. Do you ever have, like, a girl name? Not that Any I of your lovers call you Queenie or something like this? <laughs> or do you dress up? Right, oh. right, George? Sometimes yeah, that'll that occur. Like that, yeah. yes. Not that I know of. It's always just been Tim. Just Tim? Yeah. And and at what age did you start to have homosexual sex? 19. You ever been with a woman? Yes. What do you do for a living? Actor. You're an oh. actor also. And are you a waiter as well? Uh, not presently, but uh, I've done it, and I'll probably go back to it after this show's over. And All you right, are, have a show. Okay. And you claim to be black, don't you? <laughs> oh. You are a black gay man. What do you think? Does he look gay? He has great eyebrows. You, do, you like him, too? No, the, the eyebrows, eyebrows are very... No, the eyebrows are very arched, so... Do you think he uh, tweezes them? I think them? he tweezes. No, they look like they're natural. Hmm. I do have a unibrow that I just kind of keep from getting too, bu yeah, too bushy. He plucks. Hmm. So, you, so you're getting a vibe yet on who you think is gay? No. All right. Let's go to the uh, bachelor number three. Now, you don't strike me as a gay man. You're not all that well groomed. Well, they call me straight, but straight to bed. You know what I mean? Right, right. So, uh, you know. And what's your favorite thing to do sexually? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, my nickname's Nasty, so, you know, whatever. Your name is Nasty, Where but... Where did we yeah. find these people? All right. Yeah. Ellie, you do have long hair. Yeah. You do look a little feminine. You sound a little feminine. Well, how does he pick up a guy? Yeah, tell me how you pick up men. Where do you meet men? Well, I try to be honest with them. I mean, I usually go to a museum or something, and I check out a painting that I like, and I look at it, and I check it out. <laughs> If I see a guy come over, you know, I don't know. It's, I like the more intelligent type of person, that's all. Right. <laughs> My goodness. Can you see him at a museum? I'll tell you one thing. I know who the gay guy is. <laughs> I'll tell you that. You so what is it? <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> or, well, we know you're gay. <laughs> So you walk up, do you ever go to a bar and meet men? Um, not really, it's not my style. I'm, I'm a go to bed early. And do you like to give oral or receive oral? Um, I like to receive. You like to receive it. And what is his favorite rest stop? <laughs> do you ever, you ever get it on with like, a, like what uh, uh, George the, Michael did? The Vince Lombardi parking area off the Jersey oh, Turnpike. Really? Is that right? <laughs> well, I like the whole macho thing, so. <laughs> Would you take Boy George there on a date? Are you attracted to Boy George? Uh, he's got money. Money turns you on. Money talks. You need a sugar daddy. <laughs> and what does this guy do for a living? <laughs> yeah, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm the artistic director of the Downtown Theater Club. Uh, I was one of the creators of Tony and Tina's Wedding. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, that's a gay uh -oh. job. Yeah, oh, for I'm sure. stuck. Creative, a creative field. Italian, You're stumped? Though, Italian, though. I'll yeah. tell you who I think is the third yeah. guy. I believe that he is the gay man. He's the gay guy. George, you don't think so? I, I really don't know. How could you not know? Where's your gay dog? One of these guys is gay. I don't know. This is insane. <laughs> that guy sounds like he's having sex right now. Yeah. My gator, you can hear my gator going off. <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to know? I think it's number one. I you do? I think it's case <laughs> Right here, pal. Red shirt. No, he's not. He's very gay. He's not. No. No? no. Who do you think it is? The, the first guy? Want. I don't know. No, one of them is. Yeah, the first guy, right? I ain't going to the locker room with number three. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I just think number three's got a problem. I don't think the one in the middle is. Right. Because he got a little bit defensive when I went on about his eyebrows. Right. The black guy. 
I don't know. Oh Tim. No, do, one, do me a favor. Like say I love Lucille Ball. I love Lucille Ball. No, he's straight. He's yeah. straight. Yeah. How are you? And number one, you say I... I love Lucille Ball. <laughs> <laughs> he's an actor. You can't trust actors. Right, he can right. Be just acting. And what about number three? Why don't you say I love Lucille Ball? I love Lucille Ball. <laughs> Maybe it isn't number is three. Tough? You know, I don't know either. How the hell am I supposed to know? I think it's number one. <laughs> I you do? Two. I think it's KC. <laughs> <laughs> right here, pal. Ah! <laughs> I think it's KC, too. George, you got to make a decision. Pick one. I think the number one's got a lovely nose. <laughs> he's a good looking guy. Yeah, he's handsome. He looks like Clark Kent. Yes. So you want to go with number one? <laughs> I'd like to see him in a cape, yeah. <laughs> Right, so you think number one out of the three gentlemen is gay? No, no, I don't think he, I don't necessarily think he's gay, but I think he's cute. One of these guys is gay. Though. I don't think it matters whether someone's gay or straight anyway. It doesn't matter. We're it's just a game. To figure out who Why you got to get all philosophical about it? <laughs> I'm getting defensive. You really are defensive. <laughs> what the hell happened to you? I don't want an American knowing I'm gay. You ruined my life. <laughs> all right, so you think number one is gay. You have to pick you one. Have to, you have to choose one. Stop looking at me like that. If he's not gay, uh, you can have, you can convert him. Uh, <laughs> don't play the game. Go That's ahead. That's another story. All right. Uh, I don't know. It's either one or two. Really? Yeah. Not three. Pick you. one or two. Pick it's one or the other three, isn't it? <laughs> you got it? He's afraid to pick. I know. Come on, you're not buying we don't condo. know. I either. think number one probably. Cause, okay. You yeah. say number one is gay. Let's go to uh, Robin. Who do you think? I think it's number one. I was going to go with number three, but maybe... In fact, I'm so sure it's number one. If he doesn't think he's gay, he soon will be. You know why I don't think it's number three? I'll tell you why I don't think it's number three, because he's from Tony and Tina's yeah. wedding. That yeah. means it's one of John's buddies. Right. <laughs> and, but then again, maybe it's one of his gay buddies. Right. Yeah, but I don't think so. All right, I'll go with number one also. But he didn't know anything. Who, number one? Yeah. Well, he's a waiter. Bring up. How could he not be gay? He's a waiter who works he's in theater. Actor. He's, he's an actor as well, though. I know a lot. You do? Uh, of course. What don't you? What do you mean? What do you mean he didn't he know? He didn't anything? know what pitching and catching was. No, 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 no okay. I knew what it was. I, I thought he was talking about baseball. I know what pitching and catching is. I can pitch, catch, yeah. He does it all. I don't know. He has no idea. I know. <laughs> all right, we all say it's number one, except Fred. I think it's, I think it's two. You think it's yeah, number two, I, the I black guy, Ted? Yeah, yeah, now he's folding his arms, looking a bit fierce. I think it might be number two. <laughs> ah! All right, let's find out who is. <laughs> It's number two. You, you say it's number two. You're changing You're your vote. changing your mind. <laughs> Look how difficult this is for you. I know. I'm shocked. That's what makes the world exciting, though. <laughs> <laughs> is it hard when you go somewhere and you th you're attracted you're to men and to trying to find out? Is, is it difficult? Not at all. Where do you go to meet men? I mean, you're too, you're too famous. It's difficult. Where can you go? Anywhere. You can. And Anywhere. In the street, at the cold meats counter, in the supermarket. <laughs> really? <laughs> Wherever, you know. I mean, it's not like you have to go to a particular place to meet someone. Do you find any nice guys, or is everybody just out for your money and, and like, like and number fame three and, and fame? Well, I think everybody in life has a hidden agenda. I mean, li yeah. liking someone because they're rich is no different from liking someone because they're pretty. It's exactly. just as immoral. I keep telling myself that, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. That's a good uh, one, though, right? It is a good one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just another feature. All right. Who is it? Will the real gay gentleman step forward? Number two. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> George, you said number two. I did. I think because when he folded his arms, he put his eyebrows up. And you see how he has gay arm and we don't? Yeah, because I never would have guessed. Look at you, number two. The Look black dude, Timmy. Tim. Tim. <laughs> only, my, only my sister calls me Timmy. See, now his voice has changed as well. He yeah. fooled us. I'm an actor. Yeah, he fooled us. He really fooled us. And, uh, and you are uh, gay, and are you in love with Boy George? Oh, as if. <laughs> it's much harder to tell whether, whether black guys are gay than the really? white guys. Really? Why, yeah. why is that? Because, well, I don't know, he kind of fooled me for a minute. It was like giving this whole tough sort of Harlem thing. But and look then, how you knew. I live in Harlem. Uh, but then it was like, then once he thought he was off the hook, he's folded his arms and the eyebrows went up a bit, and I thought, okay. Look how you knew. Yeah. I thought, mm -hmm. Look how you knew. He saw the secret signal. Are you proud of yourself that you knew? <laughs> You're the only one who knew who the yeah, gay man was. Know. Oh. And also, you know, it's like, you know, you know, his voice early on, he was kind of being tough and yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. hey, Are you packing some big away. stuff? <laughs> do you have a nice uh, schlong? I like to think I do. Uh -oh. Yeah. You're completely gay. You don't, uh, you're not bi. As far as I know, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come back to me in five years. Are you wearing any underwear? Oh, I just lost sound. Are you wearing any underwear? Yes, I am. There you are. Aww. Doesn't look like you are. Mm. Well, I didn't think the show was going to be this exciting, so <laughs> I mean, I'm amazed. Do you want to show anything to boy George? <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> and number one.
one really isn't gay. <laughs> number one, you are not gay. Let me tell you something. I think you're on your way. Wait. So you married. Uh, yeah. What's your story, I'm, number one? I'm, I'm not a gay man. All right. And what, do you want to plug something beside Boy George? <laughs> Go ahead. Wouldn't you love it if Boy George would come over there and kiss you? Yes. You would, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you might not be straight. Yeah, what is it, Baba Boy? You know, I brought a group of people up here, Howard, that I think are pretty fascinating. Mm -hmm. There were about 20 uh, Boy George, um, I don't know what you call them, fans, groupies, downstairs, all women, except for one guy from Brazil. Yeah. And these are people like there's a, um, a gay couple, these two women who are from London, who are probably around in their early to mid 40s, and they are going on tour for five weeks. With like, Boy George? Yeah, not with him, but they're following him around. The guy from Brazil came up from Don't Brazil. Julie, I know them. You do know them? Yeah. You know your fans pretty well? But there's about yeah. 20 of them, Howard. Really? And, and, they're, they're just, and they follow George everywhere. Yeah, they're going on the tour. You like that, right? That, that, that appeals Why to you. Not? Yeah, definitely. It's nice. Yeah, it is nice. All right, listen, Boy George, go see him. Culture Club, Come Wednesday I night. I want to meet some of these people who do follow you really? him around. Yes, I do. Yeah. But what are they going to say? I just want to look at them. All right, all right, bring in some of Boy George's fans. You want to see these people? Well, I probably know them. Actually. You do? Trust me, you want to meet them. I do. That's fascinating to me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Here they come. Hello, how are you? Oh, you know them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Hey, look at these dances. Oh. Hey, oh my God, Terry. <laughs> you know all these people. Yes, yeah, Mr. yeah. Right you really do know them. I know all of them, yeah. Wow. <laughs> look at that. All of them. How you doing, girls? Hey, you got a lot of girl fans. Wow. Yeah. It's all girls except for this one guy from Brazil. <laughs> hey, hey, dude, are you, are you, uh, are you think it's kind of odd you're in a sea of women? You're the only boy George fan. Do are a lot of guys afraid to come to your concerts? Are they afraid of being uh, labeled as gay? Is that the problem? I think that used to be the case. I think they're kind of over it now. Though. Right, they go. Hopefully. Are you a gay gentleman? No. You are not. So you're straight. Are you afraid yes. that you'll be labeled as gay for go hanging out and following boy George no. around the country? No. You're just Tell a big. Tell us how much you love boy George. Uh, yeah. Do you love boy George? Yes. All right, even though you're straight, wouldn't you love it if boy George would come over there and kiss you? <laughs> yes. Dude, what about? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you might not be straight. I'm telling you. Yeah, look it up. What's your favorite song? What is your favorite Boy George song? Do you really? Do you really want to hurt me? Dude, uh, that's the one you like. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and ladies, what? Monster, Howard. Ladies, what about you? You look like married women or they, something. They are. They're a couple from we London. Oh, oh, you're married to each other. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, I see. And don't you have jobs? I mean, how can you be following around Boy George? What she do you for the police? <laughs> are you, are you now, Howard, these are, this is the couple I told you that's on tour for five weeks. They came over here. They're going to follow him for five weeks. Yeah, I mean, uh, are your periods in sync? Do you so <laughs> Do you get your period at the same time? <laughs> Do you? Oh, I see. There's a lot of broads here. And what about you? You look like a married woman. Who are you? Me. Yeah. No, I'm single. You're single? You're hot. Are you straight? Where are you from? England? <laughs> I'm from Switzerland. You're from Switzerland? And what are you, like a Boy George fanatic? Yeah. And, you're gonna f and you came down here specifically just to get a glimpse of him? Uh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Does she speak English? Is English your first language? Seriously. No, German. German is your first language. Say something rude to him in German. I think he'd like that. <laughs> yeah, you understand German? Tie me up and then, Am yeah. Am I allowed to speak rude here? Uh, no. <laughs> Not bad words. <laughs> you can't so, we know? Are you a gay chick? Or are, you, are you straight or are you a gay chick? I'm straight gay. I'm, I'm straight. You are straight? Yeah. And so you're what are you doing following George? Yeah, and, what do you, and how do you get the money together to follow George around? Um, I save. You save your money up. And I earn piles in Switzerland. You earn piles in Switzerland? <laughs> what do you do in Switzerland that earns you piles? I'm a translator. You're a translator. You see, I got to get work like that. And they earn piles? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Howard. Yeah. This one, this one right here, step right up. She's the one that's um, had lunch with George and had her had George in her car. Oh, really? How so do you get that? Are you considered like the favorite fan? I mean, do all the fans <laughs> flock to you? I don't know. Ask George. I don't know. How do you? How do you? How come? Why do? You, why do you get those privileges and not these other people? Because she's always got a car. Right place at the right time. I don't know. And what do you do? You you say to George, you need a ride and he and you get in your car no, he came after her he so. asked me for a ride really you don't have uh, a limo I've, this, I've known this lady for a long time, long, you have. Long time she's yeah. just a fan who became friendly with you i wouldn't call it just a fan that right. sounds a little Sweet. bit no i don't mean anything bad by that i mean she's somebody who's a fan that's how i met fred he's a fan he gets to hang around with him i think when you you know people follow you in for long enough you kind of get to know them and you become friends with them and so you just said to her give me a ride after the show one night and where did you go no we went shopping you yeah, went, we went shopping, shopping. together. Yeah. Are you and George the same size? Is that it or what? Probably. You are? And where do you go shopping with Boy George? Does it cause a scene? Melrose Avenue in L.A. Oh, I see. So and you went shopping? And then you had tea with him? 
Um, yeah, I've had tea with him. Really? It's funny because we've had a lot of bands up here that are pretty huge bands that have not attracted these kind of crowds. Yes, yeah. yes, that is very true. But Boy George nice has to his fans. That's totally different. When you're nice to your people, your people will do nice things for you and mm. really? be cool to you. Well, maybe I'll try that. Now, how far would you go for George? <laughs> we went to England. Really? And we were going to go to Japan, but we couldn't get the time off of work. If Boy George told you right now to get naked and make love to me, you'd do it? <laughs> no. No? Oh. <laughs> you won't go that far. <laughs> I've been one of the very few people that have actually come off Howard Stern and said that was fun. <laughs> <laughs>